part two of the birdhouses in perspective, we're going to draw a birdhouse that's above the eye level line. We start with a vertical line above the eye level line, and we're going to take the top of that vertical line and draw it back to our right vanishing point. The bottom of that vertical line will go back to the left vanishing point. Line up the front edge corner of your box and slide your ruler over and make another vertical line. On the left side, we're going to do the same. Bottom of the front corner goes back to the vanishing point, and the top of the corner goes back to the vanishing point. Line up your vertical, slide your ruler, and put the back side on the box. At this point, we're going to find the center of our box, just like we did before. I've not put the bottom on the box yet. That will come later. A vertical line, so we can make the top of the roof and from the top of this vertical line we're going to draw back to the corner on the left side but we're going to stop at that corner. We're going to draw a parallel line and we're going to draw that and it's going to extend past the corner. This is going to be the underside of our roof. From the top of that line we're going to make our other part of the roof and it's going to go through our nearest corner. We'll clean that up a little bit. Now what we want to do is double the lines to give thickness to the roof. We line up with the pitch of the roof and draw another line down. This will give our roof thickness. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Line it up, slide the ruler, and draw a parallel line down. A short vertical line to show the thickness of the roof on both the front and the back side of the roof. Kind of clean it up a little bit with my eraser. I want to, I'm only cleaning up a little bit because I want to be able to see that center line when I put the bird hole in later. Also, I want to clean up this one part of the corner because what I'm going to do with the with that overhang on the roof, I want to bring that to the vanishing point as well. This back corner is going to go back to point a short line. I'm going to do the same thing back to the right and there'll be two lines here make sure they're lined up with the vanishing point. Now what I want to do I'm just kind of gauging here what the pitch of the roof is like but I want to take the top of the roof and bring it back to the right vanishing point. Now I want to put the back side of the roof on, so I'm going to check the pitch of the roof. Before I do this, I want to make the, the roof overhang a little bit, so I use a short vertical line. And I'll slide my roller back until I hit that short vertical line, and then I'll complete the back side of the roof. Clean up my lines. I still have yet to do the bottom side of the box. So from this farthest corner on the left side, I'm going to go back to the right vanishing point. I'm going to do the same thing from the right corner. I'm going to go back to the left vanishing point. And this puts the bottom on my birdhouse. I draw a very short curved line and since this line is above the eye level line it's going to pitch down a little bit and I'm going to bring both lines down for my post. I'm going to clean that line up a little bit, erase it. Now to put the hole in the birdhouse. I actually made a mistake here and it got a little thick and a little messy, so I had to come back in and clean it up. If you keep your lines light, you can erase it, and you won't see these ghost lines afterwards. Yuck. Did not work out very well. Let me do this again. And that happens, folks. Sometimes we make a mistake and we need to go in, erase it, and redo it. I'm going to keep this oval on that whisper vertical line that we used to do the center of the face of the birdhouse. Short little curved line for the perch. 
And we're going to draw away from the vanishing point. Same thing on this side. And then what I want to do is finish the point of the perch up. Now what I want to do is the channels for the siding. So I'm going to double my lines on the back side of the birdhouse. And here we go. A second line there. A second line here. Now I have channels and I'm ready to put the siding in. Make small dots going down the side of the roof and I'm just kind of guesstimating these right now. I'm going to continue them the whole way down until I reach the bottom of the front corner of the birdhouse. Now I'm going to begin bringing these points back to the vanishing point to include my siding. Make sure, once again, that you're on the vanishing point. These aren't just angled lines that goes back to the vanishing point. I'm going to speed it up just a notch here. I want to do the same thing on the left side of the box. I'm putting small lines in. Also notice that in the corners where I have my channels, I did not include the lines. That's where I actually stopped. I'm going to bump it up here again. Notice I checked the bottom to make sure my angles were right, and now I can begin to add shading. Consider your light source, where your light source is coming in. Wherever the light source is coming in, we want to make it a little bit darker. And that does it, folks. Box two, above the eye level, all done.